because ballet is so difficult and technically demanding, it's very important for dancers to listen to their bodies as it is their instrument. Here at Queensland Ballet, we believe in fostering strong, healthy dancers who can enjoy dance and produce the best performances possible. Because dancers push their bodies to the maximum on a regular basis, it's very important that they fuel their body with good nutrition. People will like to say, oh, ballerinas don't eat, but I've never seen someone eat as much as a ballerina, to be honest. It's just what they're eating is very healthy and very nutritional. When your body is growing and changing, it's very important that you listen to your body and not become too fatigued. If you're coming into class and you're not 100% aware of things, that's when you get injured. So I think if you're fully aware of what your body's doing and you're awake, you can train as hard as you can and it will prevent injury. With young dancers, they're often going through a time of rapid growth and development. For this reason, it's extra important that they listen to their bodies and pick up any little niggles that might start as quickly as possible. Remember, your dance teacher is an essential part of your dance team. And so you need to communicate with them and let them know if you're having a problem or how you're feeling generally, so that they can work together with other health professionals to get the maximum benefit for you as a dancer. Some of the best ways for dancers to address niggles or pains that occur might be to have a massage regularly and to seek treatment from a physiotherapist. Breaking the scar tissue is the big one, so increase the range of movement and lower the levels of pain and inflammation straight away as well. The good upcoming dancers, the good thing is that they have um, a professional trainer in teaching them what to do, so they, they always have a good stretching session, strengthen up exercise as, as well. If you're feeling sore, just use a trigger point ball, stretch, um, foam roller. You can use the high spats as well. There's so many different things you can use to prevent injury. In addition to their normal ballet training and rehearsals, many of our dancers do additional training, such as cardiovascular fitness training, Pilates and strength training. We've seen the guys doing squats, so what we're looking at there is glute and quad development. Some of the other exercises we've seen is one where they were doing a shoulder press. That's to do with lifting girls above the head. My suggestion is just learning the basics, you know, things like squats, push-ups, the whole point behind it is to make sure that they're nice and strong and healthy and have a long career. Pilates works on posture and alignment and making sure that the muscles are all working in their correct order and at the correct timing to give the dancers the ultimate strength and control in their movements. At a younger level, introducing just some really good core stability exercises is a great way to start bringing in a bit of Pilates into your warm-ups so that you are starting class already warm and already connected and engaged. Mm -hmm.